Hello and what is up? Welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video we're going to be going over creating clothing and objects for your avatar in Blender. So this one's going to be a bit more complicated than the uh, previous videos I've had, but I'm going to try and go over it as simple as I can. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to open up the files for my avatar. So right now I have the fluffy tail Tatum. I just have the Tatum, really. So right now I have the Tatum, or the fluffy tail Tatum, and you're going to look for a dot .blend file. And what you'll do is you'll double click on that. Also make sure you do have Blender installed. You can always get that on Steam, or I believe on their website they do have a link to download that. As soon as you're here, I am going to go to layout. So you're going to want to go to the layout tab here. And if that's not here, you can always just click general and then look for layout right here. And here we'll have the avatar. Also a nice thing too, if you want to look at the colors or the textures, uh, you can always go up here. This should be like uh, material mode. Or you can press Z. Also the controls. So basic controls using middle mouse button you can view around your avatar shift middle mouse button does this and control middle mouse button and moving your mouse up and down will zoom in and out otherwise you can use a scroll wheel and that's pretty much the basic movements I know of so creating clothing for your avatar we're gonna get right into that so if you want to create clothing for this, what I am going to do is if you're creating a shirt, which is what I'm going to do in this video, uh, and if you happen to have anything like fur or any other objects that are poking out of the way that you want to be smoothed out when creating possibly a shirt, how you will do that is we're going to then click on body. And we're going to go down here to what looks like a little triangle icon and you're gonna go down here to shape keys so what we're gonna do is going we're gonna press this little plus button here and we're gonna name this shirt and we are gonna set the value here to 1 and I'm gonna explain what this is gonna do here in a little bit but you're just gonna have to follow me on this real quick but right now we're gonna go into up here where it says object mode uh, we're gonna then select sculpt mode and then we're gonna select smooth right here and then what we'll do is since these are spiky and they kinda come out and when we have the shirt we want it to be smoothed out and we don't want that fur poking through it so what we're gonna do is use the smooth tool click and just kind of uh, push down as you can see, it kind of went a little too far. So what I'm going to do is Control Z that, go back, smooth it out again, and there we go. That looks about good. So as you can see, it did remove all of the uh, the spikes that were kind of there, or the the fur that was kind of sticking out. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go in the back, check that, see this little fur poking out, and we're just going to smooth that out. And there we go. Also check the arms and just check around, make sure that's all smoothed out. I see I missed a spot here. It's good to get a view all around the avatar, make sure you got it all right. It's all smooth, so everything, anywhere you're gonna have that object or shirt or piece of clothing at, you're gonna wanna make sure you have it smoothed out, if you want it to be smoothed out. And then what we're gonna do, since we have still the shirt clicked and the value is set to one, as you can see, when we set it back down to zero, it'll go back to what it was previously. I'm going to go back here to object mode. And as you can see, what we did was we created a shape key, or a blend shape, so it'll smooth that out. So between the value of zero and one, it will switch between what the changes we made in when setting the value to one, any of the changes we made change back from its default state before to the changes we made. So it'll change its value 
from the amount of change we made. So I'm going to leave the value at 1. Still making sure that that new shape key that we made is selected. Now we are going to click the body, control C to copy that, and control V to paste it, and I like to hide the original by clicking the little eyeball icon, and I am going to go down of the copied version, select the body, click and drag, making sure you, uh, when doing that, you click where the letters are, and then hold shift and drag off. Then we can delete the armature, leaving it just with the copied version of the body. Now what we're going to do is, well, just press tab on your keyboard, and this will go into edit mode. So what we'll do here is, this is where we'll select all the faces that we want to that we want to select to make up what we want our clothing to look. So we can switch between here. Uh, I usually do face faces, so you want it to have so you select faces. It's a bit easy. It's so much easier. And what we'll do is click, and you can press Control to take that first point and select all of them in between from your second point. So first point here, press control, click in a new area, and it will copy all the ones leading up to that second point. Or if you just want to select one, you can press shift and then left click. And you'll pretty much just start selecting all the faces to make up the clothing that you want on your avatar. And there we go. Once we have all the faces we want selected to make the um, piece of clothing we want, we are then going to press shift D to duplicate all those faces, and then we're going to press P on the keyboard and do by selection. And then we're going to exit edit mode by pressing tab, and as you can see, it has an outline of our clothing. What we're going to do is then delete this first one, the first body, leaving us with this one, the clothing we have. And then what we're going to do here is um, we're going to go down here to what is called the materials tab and select the first one and then just press the little minus button here to delete all of the materials that were applied for the body. What we're going to do is go here to the triangle tab again and go up here to the top, select the first basis and just start deleting all of these by pressing the minus button over here. Making sure we leave the shirt last go. Now what we'll do is go here to the modifiers tab, which is the little wrench icon, and we're going to do add modifier, and we're going to go here under generation to solidify. Now what we're going to do is over here in thickness, we're going to go negative 0 0.001, and then we're going to do only rim, and it's your choice whether you want to apply this now but I usually don't like to apply it just in case there's any changes I ever want to make, like making it a bit uh, thicker or less thicker. I press Control Z and go back, but I'm going to leave it like this. And then what we'll do to parent it to this to the original avatar is I'm going to show all these again. This kind of gives you an idea of how it looks on the avatar as well. So as you can see, it looks well, looks good. So what I'm going to do is by selecting this, double clicking on the on the uh, clothing we just created. I'm going to name it shirt. You can name it whatever piece of clothing you have. And what we're going to do is select that and press Control on the armature. And we're going to in here in the uh, view area layout, we're going to right click parent under parent tab here, then go up to with empty groups. And there we go. We have now parented the shirt with the avatar. So if you were not looking to actually create clothing and instead wanted to add another FBX model, like an earring or a bracelet, something else to put on the model, maybe even hair, what you'll do is go up here to file, import FBX. There we go this I'm gonna put I'm gonna put hair on here 
Though I'm sure a lot of you will probably do um, ear piercings. I know a lot of people like to do that for their avatars. But this is set up the same way. So I'm just going to look for the body, which is the main chunk tough. So not the armature. This is originally called the armature. What we're going to do is then click this, press control, select the armature, and again, parent with empty groups. And it's going to move that a bit. So what I'm going to do is then delete this. Go here to main chunk, and I again am going to move this a little bit. And again, just kind of move it to where you want it to be on the avatar. And there you go. That's really it. And then what we do is, uh, this is pretty much all done. What we can do is go over here up to File save as and since I have a unity project already created I like to go over to where my avatar is I like to go to where my unity project is and assets and I'm just going to go here to Tatum and I rename it and I will save this in my unity project save as. So it'll save as a dot blend file. So now I'm going to go in my Unity project where I have my character. Give it a second and it's going to load. So once it is in Unity, we're going to go to where that is. Go over to my FBX files where I have it saved. As you can see, I have it here. And before we import that in here, what we're going to do is over here in Rig, we're going to go to animation type and select humanoid and then over here we're going to select apply once that is applied we are going to go here to configure and it might ask you to save your scene you can select yes and as you can see the chest here is missing so what we're going to do is over here in the hierarchy look for the chest click and drag that over here to the chest and then what we're going to do here is scroll down and then look for left leg, right leg, and delete the toes because you don't need that. And then we're going to go back up here to head and remove the jaw. So how we do that is you just click, double click it, and then delete. And once you have done that, you click apply and then we press done. So right now I have my other model that I modified in here. And what I'm going to do, since this is all set up, I am going to click and drag this up here into the hierarchy. As you can see, it is not set up at all. So with this, you're going to have to set it all up, which is not hard. What you can do is if you have the original project imported in here, um, it's already set up. So all you would have to do is just right click on these components here and select copy component and remember this is the animator so what I'm going to do is I already have the animator here I'm going to paste component values by right clicking on this component and then selecting paste component values and then I'm going to go back to the VR chat avatar descriptor copy those components go to avatar descriptor and then paste component values in there. So the next thing is you're going to want to have to set up your dynamic bones again. So luckily the Tatum already has a avatar logic. What I just do is select and control D to duplicate and then I drag that onto this. We can rename this. Alright, so since we have the avatar logic here is where the uh, dynamic bones are for this model. So just look anywhere through your um, in your hierarchy, look down, try to find where your dynamic bones are. And what you are going to do is, since these are already copy and pasted and set up, all you'll have to do is switch between these two here. So as you can see, this says root tail root, and I'm going to go back here, and through my model, I'm going to look for the root tail, root tail right here. So what I'm going to do is click and drag that into the root. And I am then
then going to do that for all of these. So all dynamic bones that are on the original avatar you are going to set up here uh, for your new one. So over here in the animator under avatar we're going to go over here to find where our avatar is. So we're going to go back here to where we imported our model. Press this little arrow tab here and we're going to look for something that looks like this. And we're going to click and drag that up here into avatar. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my materials to this because it's kind of creepy. I don't like how that looks. I'm going to click, drag my materials. And then just reapply all those uh, materials back onto the new model. So next, as you can see, the uh, fluff that we fixed in Blender is here in Unity, not fixed. So how we can do that is over here under Body, you'll see this wasn't down. This won't be down, but you'll see under skin mesh render look for a thing called blend shapes click on that and then go down to find the uh, blend key we added in blender which is shirt and we're going to change that value to 1 or 100 as you can see there we go now we have the clothing setup also if you're wondering for animations if you want to have this as a toggle you can do that so I will quickly show you how to do that for a toggle as well I'm going to create a new animation and I'm going to name it shirt. So what I'm going to do is go over here and add property. I will then select the shirt. I click this so it toggles it on. And then what I will do here is during this animation I'm also going to add another property body. And we're going to go to skin mesh render and look for the blend key we added. So since I named it shirt, here it is going to add that and set it to 100 and then at the end set it to 100 make sure it's toggled on so when playing as you can see in this animation the uh, blend keys are applied or the blend shapes are applied so it hides the fluff and it toggles on the shirt super easy and that is really it so if you found this video helpful uh, possibly like subscribe leave a comment that out of the way. You have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.